Hi folks and welcome back to the Advantage Applications channel. My name's Rich and today I wanted to make a quick video to talk about a quirky problem that you may run into if you're doing development in Microsoft Access and that is error number 2185 that says you can't reference a property or method for a control unless the control has the focus. Now at first glance that seems like an obvious thing. Of course you can't access uh, properties and methods of control that doesn't have focus. But there is a condition in Access where you can receive that message even when the control definitely does have the focus. And in fact, it can happen in the event procedures of the control that has the focus. Uh, so I'm going to show you that problem and I'm going to show you how to fix it. And uh, if you would like access to these uh, source files and source code that I use in all of my videos for demonstration purposes, for less than a price of a coffee at Starbucks, you can become a member of the channel. It helps us out, and I really appreciate it if you do that and you have access to all of these uh, source files so you don't have to reinvent the wheel when you practice these things or use them as springboards for your own projects. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. I'll show you a database that I've set up to demonstrate this error and how to fix it. Let's take a look. To demonstrate this issue, I've created a simple database for tracking overtime at a restaurant. I have a form with the Allow Additions property set to false, so that instead of allowing users to add records to the underlying table directly, they will populate the controls in the form footer. Then click Submit, and code runs in the button's click event that inserts a new record in the table, and then the new record shows up on the form as it should. If you're unfamiliar with executing SQL statements from VBA, I have a video that walks you through how to do that. I'll put a link to it in the description below. So notice that when I populate the controls in the form footer, when I select an employee from the caused by combo box, work crew and job are automatically populated. That's because the row source for the combo box is table employee or TBL employee, where all of that information is stored. So after a selection is made, I can reference the work crew and job fields of the caused by combo box and use it to populate those form controls. No problems so far. But if you notice here in the caused by combo box, I have an option for NA. Let's assume that if an overtime need occurs that isn't due to one of these employees being absent, NA is what they would select. But if NA is selected, we wouldn't want work crew and job to be populated because NA isn't a person and it doesn't belong to a work crew or have an assigned job. To handle that in code, we want to check the text property of the caused by combo box to see if it is NA, and if so, to bypass populating work crew and job. The code might look something like this. Now, if we create another overtime entry and select an employee, everything works just as before, but if we select NA, we get error 2185 telling us that we can't reference that property because the control doesn't have focus. But we are in the after update event of this very control, so it must have focus. The cause of this problem, oddly enough, turns out to be because we have the allow additions property of the form set to false. So if we set that property to true or yes, we no longer receive that error but users can now enter records directly on the form and it defeats whatever purpose we had for forcing users to use the controls in the form footer in the first place. So a better solution would be to set the form's allow additions property back to false and in the code just above our test for NA we'll set the allow additions property to true. And then right after our test, we'll set the allow additions property back to false. Now our users are still forced to use the controls in the form footer and we no longer get the error message. Now I realize that there are many ways to get around this error in this particular case. For instance, instead of referencing the text property of the caused by combo box, we could have referenced the column of the combo box that contains the name of the employee which in this case would have been NA. I could have also noted the ID value of the NA record in TBL employee and just tested the combo box's stored value.
But the point of this demo was to show that this error does occur sometimes, and if you can't get around it in some other way, you can always set the Allow Additions property to True long enough to get by the error. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful if you find yourself up against this error at some point. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.